The inspiration for the lampshades comes from different places actually, but I am very influenced by nature. When I was thinking about developing this range, I came across a rye grass field. That really was quite good to formulate some ideas for the lampshades. Michael, my partner, and I work very closely together. We're partners and we also work together, so it's a bit 24-7. He's very good at the mechanical side of maintaining our knitting machines and working on stitches, so we work together very well. And I'm sort of on the creative, artistic side, so we're a very good partnership. And then we do have other members of the family that come and help us in the studio. We take quite sort of simple materials and turn them into contemporary products. That's really important to me and our team. And I think when you're selling that product, you're quite passionate about that journey and you can really show that to people that you're taking quite a simple woolen fibre and turning it into a really lovely cutting edge design. We've worked quite closely with a yarn producer in Yorkshire. They produce quite a few different British yarns. We've selected a yarn that's made from Cheviot wool, that's Northumbrian wool. It's always rewarding to know that you're in control of something. With knitting, you can create the fabric and you can make it your design. I think that's why I like knitting, because we're creating the fabric and we're making it into a product as well. One of the sculptors at our studios, he helped us just to mock up some copper wire frames in one or two different configurations. And really that was a fantastic starting point because he helped me to sort of put things into three dimensions. And then I could start to think differently, more in the round rather than a flat fabric. I do really enjoy the weaving because when you put the wool onto the frame, it suddenly comes alive from using just a simple wire frame and then putting this weaving on it really does change it but you do get a really lovely effect we get the frames made by a local manufacturer in derby we've worked quite closely with him for about a year now he's very keen to help us realize our ideas producing frames that will be functional as well as looking right so it's quite a nice collaboration Introducing the dip dyed effect was something that we thought about when we were going to do a big exhibition. We had the ideas of making the lighting in five different shapes, but we really needed to create some more impact. We thought the colour would really make them pop. The overall appearance of the lampshades is quite simple, but actually when you start to look at it more closely, then you realise that there are a lot of elements to it. I think that comes over really strongly in the lighting. The stitching and the cord, the texture of it is really enhanced when it's wound onto the frame. And also the way we've dyed the lampshade too, with the dip dyeing technique, it really brings out the texture and the fading effect on the wall. I think that's really attractive. It's so exciting and there's so much potential in the idea that I really want it to keep going so that I can really look into all the details of it and more will evolve from that.